hello everyone welcome on in to my youtube channel and what is going to be my first ever let's play sims video on youtube and ultimately my first youtube video and we are going to be starting a legacy challenge let's play series and i have decided that my first let's play series is going to be family dynamics challenge which i will go through in just a second with you I do want to give a quick shout out to Simply Jade on YouTube, who is the inspiration behind me starting this challenge and actually getting the nerve to record and post this video because I have wanted to post Sims content or Sims YouTube videos for many, many years. And I simply just didn't have the motivation or I guess the imagination to come up with a story to host. Now to get into exactly what the family dynamics challenge is. So the family dynamics challenge, um, I'm reading exactly from the link here. So it says, greetings, fellow Simmers. Welcome to the landing page for our family dynamics challenge specifically created for the Sims 4. This challenge was created by Pastella Pixels and Standing Simmer with the goal to set forth a unique and fun set of guidelines for a Sorry, can't speak. For a 10 generation legacy challenge centered around a variety of family dynamics. If you choose to play this challenge on any platform, please feel free to use the hashtag family dynamics challenge so that we can enjoy your gameplay too. General rules. One, begin with a single sim. Two, no cheats or mods that serve to enhance gameplay over other simmers. MC command center is permitted for baby gender number control and risky woohoo only may use free real estate on when starting the first generation only custom saves are allowed and encouraged to add an infusion of new gameplay opportunities each career and aspiration must be completed unless expressly stated otherwise if a career branch is not specified then the choice is completely up to you have fun don't let the rules of this challenge confine you and inhibit your creativity unless the rules explicitly explicitly direct you we encourage that you make the gameplay your own so i guess what excites me about this challenge personally is that it is family gameplay and unless i'm streaming on twitch i'm not really getting into the gameplay like quite honestly i don't play sims outside of twitch and i figured that this would be a nice way to get back into it and i really love the family storylines that the sims brings particularly now with things like toddlers and the parenthood pack and that sort of thing I really, really enjoy the family dynamic of, of The Sims. So to give you a bit of an idea um, of what we're starting with. So, of course, this is our founding Sim. So introducing you all officially to this beautiful, beautiful Sim. Her name is Addison Harrington. For anyone who doesn't know the reference, Harrington after Steve Harrington who is, of course, the best Stranger Things character to ever have lived. With the exception of perhaps Eddie Munson. Controversy, I know, but if you have a preference and if you are a Stranger Things fan, let me know your preference in the comments below, Steve or Eddie. With that aside, let's go ahead and go back to Addison. So Addison, as we mentioned, is our matriarch. I guess she's not really a matriarch because I'm not playing the 100 Baby Challenge but she is the founding sim for the first generation and the first generation or generation one of the family dynamics challenge is the white picket fence. So for generation one, we basically have this information. From the time that you strike out on your own as a young adult, you dream of cultivating loving familial relationships as rich and unique as the dishes you love to create. You marry younger than some of your friends, raise a bundle of children and enjoy gardening and entertaining in your spare time. Yet, you still devote a portion of your life to your hidden dream of becoming a chef. So generation traits must be outgoing, foodie and family oriented with the aspiration of successful lineage and the career must be the culinary master chef branch. The rules for generation one state that you need to complete at least five gold level dinner parties master cooking and baking skills, marry as a young adult and stay happily married until death do us part, 
have three to four children, maintain a garden with at least 10 unique plants, including a cow plant, and complete at least three quarter levels of your aspiration. Upon completing level five of the culinary career, you may also choose to leave the career and open a restaurant. So that is pretty much where we are headed with this generation. I am super, super excited. I love having children and toddlers and I there's just something about like I need a partner for my sim. I can never have a single sim anymore, even though that's all I ever used to do back in the day. So I'm very, very excited to get started. Um, again, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I guess to mention it now, if you do have any questions about the challenge, the storyline, anything I'm saying, drop it in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I will also preface this I guess this gameplay or this challenge and series with the fact that I do use a lot of CC in my gameplay so beautiful Addison here does have you know some CC eyelashes CC eyes she has CC hair um she also has some skin overlays and things like that so if you ever want to know where anything is from specifically let me know and I will do my best to get back to you but I will also let you know that some of the things that I do use I've had for quite some time and may not necessarily have links to anymore but I will definitely do my best to get back to you. Um, I also do want to just quickly say that this particular part of the challenge is probably going to be longer than any other episodes that I will post, mainly because obviously we just had to get through the generational just then and obviously a bit of an introduction to our gorgeous sim. And of course, I will give you a quick glimpse of her home before we go ahead and get into the challenge. Okay, so the next thing that I should probably tell you guys is that for this challenge, I've decided to start the family in Brindleton Bay because Brindleton Bay is quite honestly my favorite world in The Sims game, mainly because it combines my love of the beach and the ocean with the cozy comfort snuggle of the like woods or the forest, um, that kind of thing. But we also have the strays that basically just roam and live on the beach. I just thought that that would be a really fun world to start out in. And like I said, it is absolutely beautiful. It is not necessarily beautiful at the moment because apparently, even though I'm like absolutely certain that I chose to start in spring, my game has defaulted to autumn. But the game will get prettier as we go on. Um, and if you do want to keep up with me on any other socials and actually find me under the same name on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. Okay, so now onto the humble abode. This is the home that I have built for our lovely Addison. So basically my idea or the backstory behind Addison is that she lives in this house. Her family or her parents, so she's a single child, her mother and father are quite wealthy, they're quite rich, and they are currently overseas traveling at the moment. So they have left this home, which is one of many, um, to Addison to I guess house sit and look after while they are away, this is the house from the front. Very simple. We've got like a little driveway area here. We have some garden beds with shrubbery. Nice little entrance with the mailbox by the door. So this is our yard space that we are working. With. So like I mentioned, it is very simple. We have a pool, of course, because I mean, what wealthy person doesn't have a pool? And then we have like a little gardening section out the back here, which is obviously going to act as part of our challenge. If we go ahead and we actually take the walls of the house down, this is our home here. So let's, I guess, start with a like a top view down kind of situation. As you can see here, you have the beautiful open kitchen. You have the large dining area with like way too many seats. <laughs> you have your living area here. And then you've got your master bedroom. There is then a personal ensuite. And then we have, of course, our family bathroom. A little laundry area here and then we do have this spare room here so I imagine at some point Addison probably lived in this bedroom when her parents were here at least when they were on holidays I imagine that at some point in her life she decided that she wanted to move away she wanted to go and live somewhere else probably somewhere like Rochester or maybe San Myshuno or something like that so that she could go to university and study and be away from her parents and then obviously now she's coming back as an adult to house it and this bedroom is empty because she's obviously no longer there. The parents don't really spend much time in this house. So this bedroom here is now an open space to become an office for 
for the purposes of this challenge to become a bedroom for what will be our family later on. Um, I am incredibly obsessed with this house. I don't often build on The Sims and when I do, I don't build from scratch, but I am very proud to say that I actually built this entire home on my own. And like I mentioned, I will post it up on the gallery, but again, a lot of this is CC. So if you're okay with obviously filling it yourself and you just like the floor plan, by all means, please go ahead and download it from the gallery. I don't know what it is, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this like kitchen living area. Just, oh, it's so divine. Also, you will probably notice, if you haven't already, that is perfectly fine, but you'll see through the windows here that we actually have the white picket fence. I guess I figured that because this generation is the white picket fence generation, we should have a white picket fence, right? So that is what I've done. <laughs> With that said, it is now time to unpause and actually get into the gameplay. Um... I guess I should probably also tell you a little bit more about Addison and just kind of the backstory that I've come up with for her. As I mentioned earlier, basically my story for Addison, it's going to be ever changing because I feel like this in this series, she's going to have a bit of a self-discovery moment, which I feel like probably happens in a lot of Let's Plays and legacy challenges and things like that. But basically for Addison, as I mentioned earlier, she comes from a wealthy family who more often than not spend a lot of time away from home traveling, business meetings, and that sort of thing. So I imagine that as a child, she did spend a lot of time with a nanny. She was obviously well cared for, well loved, well looked after. She had everything that she could ever dream of. But in terms of her family dynamic with her parents, it was kind of lackluster. And I imagine that she was probably heavily raised by a nanny and or a butler. Um, and as I sort of touched on earlier, her parents are away on holidays at the moment. Um, and they are sort of traveling, doing their thing, building their wealth. And they've left Addison behind to house sit this family. Um, growing up, I imagine that Addison was probably very much used to a life of entertaining and schmoozing. So she was a little girl who her parents would have people over all of the time or they would go to functions and events and charity balls and things like that. And Addison was very much sort of out of sight, out of mind. She was left with the nanny or the butler like I said earlier, but she has grown up believing that the only way to succeed in life is to make those connections, to get in with the people who have the names, the people who are celebrities that have wealth, so on and so forth. But basically the only way that she is going to survive in life is to get herself in with the big names of the town, so on and so forth. Um, I eventually imagine that at some point she's going to have sort of a self-awakening and realize that she wants to live her own life and she wants to do thing because at the moment she's unemployed, not really doing much with her life. She's basically living off her parents' money. And then at some point during her like self-discovery moment, she realizes that she wants to be her own person, essentially. So that is what we are going to roll with. And then obviously I imagine as we go through the gameplay, as we start meeting other people, building a family, building a career, things, obviously her, her story will change and I guess her personality will develop as well. But now that that is all said and done, let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. All right, so here we go. Let's unpause and let's begin our legacy challenge. out the front a little bit looks a bit we we love that for her i don't know whether i want to play i usually play with the walls down but i'm not sure because of how pretty the house is whether i want to maybe try and play with the wall really you have this whole house and you're just going to go and sit and watch the tv i do love the living space though it's just it gives such cozy cozy vibe she's been in this house for like five seconds and she's deciding to sit and watch a black and white movie she's like hello what is this black and white movie i cannot believe my eyes why are there still black and white movies on tv at this point also i've put a little few a few little details into the house that sort of give it the family vibe even though like i said i imagine that there wasn't a lot a lot of family time in this home but I'm imagining that this little piece here was hand painted by Addison for her parents. I, I just, I really, really love this house. 
I love her. We should probably try and get ourselves a job because the gameplay challenge says that she needs to be in the culinary career. Although I don't necessarily know that we want to do the culinary career just yet because, like I said, I kind of want her to have like a coming of age self discovery moment where. She decides that that's what she wants to do. She decides that entertaining, whilst it's enjoyable, she kind of, I don't know, her thing is to cook, garden, to grow her own produce, and then to turn that produce into those meals that she then feeds to her family and friends. Okay, (laughs) so I've skipped forward a little bit just because she's mostly spent the entire morning watching TV. So I have skipped ahead. Our welcome party is now here. So let's go ahead and actually... Say hello to our new friend. I love that she's watching the cooking channel. So, so. <laughs> she's like, well, hello there, friend. Hello, I didn't bring you cake, but I hope we can still be friends. Oh, hello, everyone. Welcome. Hi. So who do we have here? We have... I forget his name. Why am I having a blank? Dag, dag. But we are very happy that she is making some friends. Oh, I don't know that I'm happy that he's just kind of like let into our vivid. house. Oh, shit. And I really yeah, hope, Avery. I mean, I think he likes our I house. <laughs> yeah, hey. So I really hope he doesn't try and like take anything though. Oh, so everyone's here. So Hello, everyone. So <laughs> I guess for us to have we successful have dinner parties and so gold level dinner parties, we have to make be. friends, right? So we have to make sure. Maruda. That we make a lot of friends and that we maintain all of those friendships. Which could be difficult. Hello, little kitty! Also, hello? Is it autumn or what is happening? Why is it snowing? Hello? He looks very unsure of the situation right now. Anyway, we found a little kitty. Let's be friends with a little kitty. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Queen oh, Cupcake. I imagine that she's oh, someone's blah, 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 loving blah, blah, friend. Blah, blah. <laughs> I love that she's talking more to the cat than to her neighbours. Wow. My husband does that to me when I'm talking to him. <laughs> or when he doesn't like what I have to say. We love that. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump back into... The conversation and let's see if we can maybe move the conversation inside so maybe if we maybe we can sit here and talk is that an option yes sit and chat here let's do that all right so hopefully they'll all come inside and they'll all just chill at the table with us that is our hope yep Everyone sit down, take a seat. Let's have a chat. I'm Schwala Bebso. He looks so happy. I <laughs> don't know where he's Come headed. I don't actually know where she's headed either. Oh, to the bathroom. She is apparently sick of the conversation. She's left him to talk to himself. We love that. I really don't like this roof glitch. Like when the walls are up, it would be really nice to have the ceiling on. Because I feel like that kind of ruins the aesthetic of the the gameplay. She is so beautiful. I love her so much. I feel like throughout this Let's Play, it's just going to be a bunch of me, like, taking way too many screenshots. She looks like a natural. Like, she is bound to be the next Jamie Oliver, the next Gordon Ramsay. Like, those salad preparation skills, superior. Okay, so it looks as though our new friends are getting ready to go. She's like, okay, friends. It was lovely to meet you. I think, yeah, everyone left. Except for... Get rid of all of these notifications. There we go. Everyone's gone except this guy, actually. So he might stick around and have some of our salad, which is great. But then I think what we might do is once she's had some salad, she needs to explore the town. She hasn't been here since she was a child, so I'm thinking that she might maybe go out. Oh, he left as well. He's like, no can do. I'm not interested in the salad. I love that her arms are clipping through the chair. But like I said, let's go ahead. Let's go and travel. And let's go to a bar because I imagine, again, like I said, she's moved into this 
in a long, long time. She hasn't been here since she was a child. She doesn't know anyone. She's going to be here for the next couple of months looking after her parents' home. So she wants to go out on the town and meet some people. So that's what we're going to do. So because we want to keep it local, we want to go. So we've got the lounge. We don't want to go to the wharf. Maybe let's go to the saloon. Yeah, let's go to the saloon because, like I said, we want to go to the bar. We want to have a couple of drinks. We want to get to know the new neighbors. Okay, so here we are at the saloon. Let's say hello to oh, Julio, who is outside dancing on the wharf, all on his lonesome. Hello, Julio. Or Julio. It's probably Julio, right? <laughs> it's lovely to meet you, Julio. She's not quite ready to dance, I don't think. I think she needs a few drinks under her belt first. Let's order up some drink. Uh, uh order drink. So I'm thinking that she'd maybe order like a glass of wine. This sounds fancy. So let's get a wine. She's so pretty. She's so content. She's very happy just getting to know everyone. Let's just like make friends with everyone. I feel like I maybe want to get like wicked whims and stuff. Not wicked whims, sorry. Slice of life and there's something else. So I just feel like that will add it to the gameplay element as well. Okay, so other than sitting at the bar, she can come and sit at the table and have some food. What else is here? We've got another little like bar section over here. We've got a kitchen. Bathrooms are upstairs. So I don't think this one isn't one of those like karaoke bars, but I guess she can kind of dance to the jukebox if she really wants to. But from the looks of it, she's having a great old time. That's, I imagine that this is the kind of person that her parents want her to get to know and hang out with. But instead, she's over here and she's just chilling out at the table with the actual locals of the town. The people that make this town the town that it is. Okay, so she's now... <laughs> She's done with her little chats over here. She's decided that she's going to go and grab another drink at the bar. I mean, but I don't know what she's actually drinking right now. But what is this? Breathtaking balance. Complimentary notes create a balance in flavors that can go with any. Sure. Okay, so this is Cletus Harris, Moira Fires, Victor Fang, Diego Lobo. Ooh, Marcus Flex, oh. Mila Munch, Julio Goff, <laughs> Justin Delgado, Watson. and then I think we met the other Delgados. Bjorn <laughs> and Supriya. Oops, she's on the move. Where's she going? Bathroom. And we are back at the bar. Vlad is now here. He's like, what a lovely neck you have there. My name is Vlad, if you would like to become a vampire. Just let me know. I'm happy to bite you at any time. We've also changed bartenders. I absolutely love her flower crown. She is getting a little bit tired. She's not very hungry, but I do kind of wonder if maybe we should order her some food. Let's maybe just have some edamame, something small. And then... She probably needs to head home. Although, why can I hear a cat? Did the cat come into the bar? This guy looks very unhappy. Look at his face. Is he sad because all of the other men are talking to her? Oh, bestie. Hello. We need to say hello to you. We need to say hello to the spellcasting fam. There is so many people here. Oh, my goodness. Look, after we've said hello to everyone and after we've had some edamame, Let's go ahead and uh -huh. turn on some sick beats. Look at her with all her friends. She's like, hello, everyone. I can't pay you all equal attention right now, but if anyone wants to come and dance with me at the jukebox, I would really appreciate that. But let me eat my edamame first. Look at all of, like, seriously. It's, it's almost like... Her storyline has like come into fruition. It's like all of these people are like, oh my God, it's Addison Harrington. And you believe it. Addison has returned after all of this time. We have to be her friend. We have to get to know her. We need to get in with that family. 
<laughs> and poor Addison just wants like genuine friendships and genuine connections. But everyone else is like, well, <laughs> honey, we're only getting to know you for your money. Um, okay, so she's going to be like, listen, I'm sick of talking. I've had a couple of drinks. My belly is full. And I am about to break it down on the dance floor. Would anybody like to join me? Come on. Are we going to dance? Is anyone going to join me? Yeah, break it down. Can everyone just join us? You know what, Vladdy Daddy, get over here. How do we invite? Did we not introduce ourselves to him? Maybe we don't know him enough. Akira? Will you dance with us too? Come on. Yeah. I feel like she looks very out of place, like she doesn't know how to dance though. But I mean, she's got them on the dance floor. Julio, dance with us. Oh, we can invite Vlad to dance. I actually love this so much. Vlad's like, ugh, I hope nobody sees me here. And everyone's like watching, like, maybe we should join in. Maybe we should all dance. This seems like fun. I actually love it. Look at them. She's enjoying herself. Why do I feel like, I don't know, I'm just getting a vibe that she's maybe going to vibe with the supernaturals or the occult versus like anybody else. Like Vlad is dancing with her. We've got a spellcaster dancing with her. I have no idea of their name. I've completely forgotten. We've got Julio who I feel like maybe owns this place. At least he gives off those vibes anyway. And Akira. She is getting a little bit tired though, and I know that she hasn't done much, but I think she should maybe call it a day and head on home. It is 2 a.m. in the morning. So let's maybe say goodbye to Vlad. Although I don't know if she can say goodbye yet. I feel like maybe she doesn't know them enough yet. So maybe we might just travel home because she's uncomfortable. I think she wants to go home to bed. Yeah, but let's just let her go home. Okay, so we've just gotten home. She's incredibly tired. She wants to go to bed. But I feel like I might get her to take a shower, use the toilet, wash her hands, of course, and then I'm going to get her to turn in. She's had a very big day. I mean, she's she moved in. She went and met some new people. She had some drinks, she had some dances, she like had a grand old time. Like I just, I feel like she's had a really great start to her first day in Brindleton Bay. And I don't know, I feel like in this series I maybe want her to adopt a pet, but I don't know whether I want her to have like a cat or a dog or maybe one of each. I really, really don't know. So if you have any suggestions, if you want to see her adopt a particular pet, Definitely let me know in the comments below because ultimately I do want this challenge to sort of be geared by you guys as well. So I really, really heavily want your input. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. It's a Monday. I mean, again, we know that she's living off her parents' wealth at the moment. So she doesn't really have anywhere to be or anything to do tomorrow. So she's more than happy to crawl into bed at 4.30 in the morning and just sleep until she needs to. Anyway, everyone, I am going to leave it here for this episode. I know that we didn't do too, too much this episode because obviously the focus was on introducing you to the character, introducing you to the challenge and obviously getting ourselves into our new home, out into the world to meet some new people. She's probably going to sleep most of the day away. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you are new here, which most of you will be because this is my first video and that sounds really silly to have said, please consider liking and subscribing. If you do want to see more, I will obviously be posting more of this challenge throughout the coming days and weeks. Thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you all again very soon for another video. Bye for now.